Hello there, welcome back to the Cream Blush Chronicles, a mini series where I take my cream blush obsession and attempt to break it down into bite sized categories. Previous episodes featured matte cream blushes if you have oilier skin or want more lasting power, then dewy blushes for a juicy, natural sheen on the cheeks. This time we're moving on to multitasking makeup with some of my favourite formulas to create easy, cohesive colour on the cheeks and lips. I've been in a big blush mood lately, busy trying some new launches, so stay tuned for more. This video is sponsored by Squarespace, part of my work with the website builder I use to make MatildaOnVideo.com. Regular viewers know how much of a cream blush addict I am, so you can find a new blog post breaking down my cream blush content so far. Today we're taking everything I love about cream products, the ease of use, beautiful blending and skin-like finish, and making them multitask on our lips too. There are lots of different cheek and lip stains, tints, creams on the market, so I've picked 10 standout sticks, liquids and pots from my collection. I love making products multitask. A pretty blush goes straight on my eyes, a lipstick can be a blush if you're in a pinch, or a glowy shadow could be a highlighter, but using non-lip products on my lips is the one time I'm a little bit more careful in case it's not as safe to ingest or the flavour is a bit funky. If I want to make something multitask on my lips, I do tend to stick to products marked for use there. Lip and cheek products are a lovely way to tie a look together and they're great when you're in a rush. I just pat them onto my cheeks with my middle and ring fingers and smudge or blot them onto my lips the same way. Starting with sticks, one of my favourite corners of the cream blush world. Ilia Multi Sticks have made many appearances on my channel since the early days. They were one of my dewy cream blush picks last time and appeared in a 2019 Multitaskers video. Big fan of these chunky little sticks. They're sheer but buildable, have a healthy, fresh finish on the cheeks, lips and eyes, and they give you a natural dose of colour. Dreamer is called Terracotta, but it's a softer, warm, rosy brown to me. Milk Makeup Lip and Cheek Sticks are a blast from the past. They were a regular in my makeup bag back in 2018. I used Dusty Rose Work so often, but barely made a dent. They last forever, so the mini is more than enough product and an easier size to dab straight onto lips anyway. These are nice and creamy and dewy with a bit of a balmy glow, so I like adding them to my eyes as well. That's a theme with creams for me. Some liquid options with a doe foot, even easier to slick onto lips. I think Danessa Myrick's Vision Flush is one of the most underrated multitaskers in the entire industry. More people need to know about these. They were a 2020 and 2021 makeup favourite for me. A fantastic, creamy, pigmented product, but it shears out perfectly for satiny, unified colour. I do tend to wear deep peach ballet slippers as a cheeks and eyes multitasker more than cheeks and lips but it's designed for all three. Charlotte Tilbury's Tinted Love Tubes don't get as much love as the rest of her lip products, but they're a lovely, super subtle stain for lips and cheeks. Nowhere near as bold as Danessa Myrick's, this is more of a barely there hint of tint. Santa Euphoria is a beachy, peachy, natural nude. Not sticky or tacky, but a little bit of a licking an envelope taste. Coming up in a celebrity makeup bag I'm excited to be working on. Quick honourable mention to one of my favourite liquid lip and cheek multitaskers, Chanel Rouge Coco Lip Blush from 2018. I was unhealthily obsessed with these. They were part of stunning Saoirse Ronan and Margot Robbie red carpet looks back then. Chanel, I know you're not listening, but we really need these to come back, please. There are the first four stick and liquid shades at full intensity, but the best thing about cream blush is creating a really realistic, healthy flush when you shear them out. If this has made you hungry for more cream blush content already, you're in luck. It's a very regular topic around here. There's a playlist on my channel and I've included some key videos in a new blog post on matildaonvideo.com. I love getting to work with Squarespace to have a little hub for my content outside of YouTube and Instagram, but the great thing is their sites work with other social platforms so seamlessly. Couldn't be easier to paste in a link to a video and it pops up right there ready to watch. If you're interested in launching a blog, Squarespace offer a free trial, then when you're ready to launch, you can visit squarespace.com slash Matilda to save 10% on your first website or domain name purchase. On with the swatches. 
Pots seem to dominate the lip and cheek space, even though I'd argue sticks and liquids are slightly more practical and less messy to use. You can imagine the little squeal I let out when the number one de Chanel lip and cheek balms launched in January. Balm is what to expect. This isn't a creamy or whipped blush. It has slip on the surface, but it's also emollient enough and reasonably pigmented, so you can pick up and layer quite a lot of colour. Vital Beige is a brownie berry, so pretty, patted onto lips and cheeks, very dewy with a sweet floral berry scent. Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk Lip and Cheek Glows from 2020 recently relaunched in yet another Pillow Talk extension, so I'm glad more people can meet this pretty balmy duo. There's a bit more resistance on the surface than Chanel, but it's not sticky and gives your cheeks a healthy, dewy glow and lips a bitten tint. Colour of Passion is a stunning deep berry, but I love the warm rose colour of dreams too. Trini London Lip to Cheek. The hint is in the name. Love her creamy multi-purpose pots. They're stackable and designed to simplify your routine. Lip to Cheek comes in 10 great shades from soft peach to rich red to terracotta brown and deep burgundy. VB is called a warm sunset coral. Summery but not too bright. It's an easy everyday shade with a soft creamy feel, fresh finish and yummy vanilla scent. Bringing back a 2019 favourite, who remembers seeing this Lila B Divine Duo Lip and Cheek shade be lovely in my old videos? I bought this at Barney's in New York, rest in peace, they had a brilliant edit of brands. Still the only Lila B product I've tried, but I'd love to hear your suggestions. I'd forgotten how much I enjoyed this formula. Perfect peachy neutral and a slightly thicker satin slash matte so it lasts nicely on cheeks, lips and eyes. Manasi 7's All Over Colour Pots come in a great range of 17 diverse colours, created by a makeup artist born in India and raised in Sweden who designs stunning shades for all skin tones. A few have popped up on my channel, but Gazania is one of my favourites. Lisa Eldridge has worn it too. A cinnamon-inspired terracotta for cheeks, lips and eyes. I'll link Lisa's reel below where she wears it all three ways. Tahia Beauty is a black-owned brand based in California, inspired by Moroccan beauty rituals. Their lip and cheek tint comes in four shades. Dreamer was a favourite back in 2020, a pretty muted peach that freshens up the face. Cream pots can harden slightly, just warm it up with your fingertips to reveal the softer texture underneath. Still planning to share more discoveries like this from brands founded by women of colour. Finishing with an overview of those pots, but let's take a look at a more sheer style the way I'd wear them in real life. But you're the boss, apply as much or as little as you like. Let me know if you're a multitasking makeup person too, and please share some of your favourite lip and cheek formulas in the comments. I'll never get sick of these types of products, so quick and easy to use, and I love the colour blocked effect. Do you prefer sticks, liquids or creams? Let me know if there are other cream blush categories or topics you'd like me to cover in future too. Thanks for watching, see you next time.